Washington in the summer was very wet, and uh, especially in July, August. The mountain slopes were very vibrant and very green and full of flowers. Sometimes I just want to sit there and soak in the, the astonishing view of the nature. The mountain in this picture is Mount, Mount Adams. It's such a joy to hike the trails that are, that are above the tree lines. Wide open views with endless beautiful mountains extending far, far away in the horizon. One day, I was hiking on the trail, and I noticed there were uh, there was self signal on my phone. So I checked the PCT group to see the, if there's any update on the trail. There was an, an there was an announcement that a young Chinese lady, whom I met earlier in Southern California, has drowned in. In, the, in a river in the Sierra. She was, her name was Wang Tao Cui. Her trail name was Tri. She was a very lovely, sweet young lady, full of passion for outdoor adventures. And she always wanted to help others. Hiking alone in the mountain, I was shocked by this news because just a few weeks ago, she sent a text message to me and asked me where I was on the trail. And suddenly, this young, beautiful life was taken away by the nature she loved. I never thought about death on the trail, but the death of tree hit me very hard. That I kept thinking, how sad I, my family would be if I die on the trail. I became so emotional that I just wanted to go home and hug my wife and my two kids and tell them I don't want to go climbing mountains taking risks anymore. After a while, I calmed myself down and I started to reassess the risk on the PCT. I realized that <coughs> Tree had made two mistakes. First. She should have skipped the Sierra like I did and hiked somewhere else. Second, she should not cross the Raging River by herself. After reassessing the risk, I believe I had enough outdoor experience to reduce the risk to a minimum. I loved the hike and I decided to continue. But I told myself, I would be extra careful and not taking any unnecessary risks. This year, there are six people died, one person missing on PCT. The first person died when he fell on an icy slope. The second person died when he suffered a heat stroke in the desert. The, first, the, third, lady, the, first, the third person was a young lady from Japan. Her trail name was Strawberry. She was drowned in a river in the Sierra when he crossed, tried to cross the river by herself. The fourth person was Tree, also drowned, in, but in a different river in the Sierra. She also tried to cross the river by herself. There were two more per people died when they fell on a steep slope in Oregon. So the question is, is PCT too dangerous? My answer is no, generally not, if you are careful. The problem is not that the PCT is too dangerous. The problem is sometimes we take unnecessary risks. Both strawberry and tree took the risk they should not take by crossing those raging rivers on their own. <coughs> when we hike outdoors, risk awareness is very important. If you like berries, you will love to hike 
Washington in August. On some section on the trail, berries are everywhere. They're almost like the whole slope are full of berries. They are very delicious, and they add extra joy to the hike. Most people who hike PCT will see bears on the trail. One day I was hiking in northern Washington, and suddenly, I saw a bear right on the trail in front of me. I took out my, cam my phone and took a video of this bear. So let's take a look. You can see the bear on the top, right on the trail. Is that a baby? Well, this bear apparently was not very afraid of me. It was eating something and doesn't care if I, you know, <laughs> call him or ask him to go away. But eventually, the bear turned around and left. Bears are curious, cute animals. <laughs> Even though most black bears, they are stronger and faster than humans, they are actually very afraid of humans. I've seen black bears in Arizona and Colorado. Most, more than half of the time, the bears will run away as soon as they see people. So I'm not afraid of bear during the day, but it is totally a different story at night. I have heard many stories that the bear come to the campsite and they will circle around the tent. Sometimes the bear try to get into the tent, but most of the time the bear just circle around the tent because they smell food inside the tent. They don't want to go away, but they are also afraid of person in the tent. They dare not to get too close, so they just move around, circle around the tent, try to figure out how to get the food. In this situation, the hiker has to get out of the tent, chasing the bear away in the middle of the night. Sometimes the bear will come back, and uh, so the hiker has to do this a couple of times to chase the bear away. And I even heard a story that some bear will come back again and again for the whole night. After hearing those stories, I decided to get uh, prepared. So every time I camp alone in the woods, I always put a few rocks next to my tent. And I also lay my hiking poles next to my tent. So if the bear come at night, I can get out and throw rocks to the bear and chase them away. Or if the bear is too aggressive, I can use my hiking pole to defend myself. But you know what? The bear never come to my tent at night. Well, well, I don't have a story about me fighting the bear to tell you. <laughs> After I finished hiking Washington, I came back to the Sierra to finish the section I skipped. By then, the snow was mostly melted and rivers were all easy to cross. The Sierra section of the PCT has the high, is the most physically demanding section. There are many high passes. The elevation of those passes are shown. One example here is a pass. I believe this one is the Mule Pass. There are many passes that we have to hike over, drop down to low elevation and climb another one, and again, again. The, the height of the pass is about 
12,000 to 13,000 feet. That's why this section, the views are incredible. They are totally different than other sections on the PCT. Part of the PCT um, in the Sierra is the same as John Muir Trail. John Muir Trail is considered one of the most beautiful trail in the world. There were a lot of waterfalls, creeks, rivers, and also <coughs> thousands of small lakes along the trail. This made this section of the hike truly unique and very special. After nearly five and a half months of walking in the forest in the mountain and wearing out four pairs of hiking shoes, I finally finished my journey, PCT journey in early October. The last three months on the trail, I developed plantar fasciitis on both of my feet. It was very painful to walk. But I pushed myself to hike 20 to 25 miles a day. And from this experience, I learned that no matter how difficult or how painful it is, as long as you push yourself, put one foot in front of another, you can go much further than you think. Success, a lot of time, is very simple. All we need to do is push ourselves as hard as possible and never quit. Hiking is good both for our bodies and for our souls. To be with nature is to be with ourselves. Let's get out hiking more often to experience the, nat the beauty of nature and also to rejuvenate, to rejuvenate ourselves from the daily stress of city noise, traffic jam, job burden, and ugly politics. <laughs> John Muir once said, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. Thank you very much. <laughs>